The Common Touch team was out in this sweltering heat this morning, sweating and working to renovate a house for a veteran. Jason Marshall served in the Army and says he's been homeless off and on for about three years. Today, he began working on a house that will soon become his new home. The master bath. We're going to enlarge it. To Ruby McMillan is helping transform this house of blight into a home for veteran Jason Marshall. I came back thinking I'd be able to find a job with anybody because of the military background, but due to the medications that the service put me on and things that I've seen and witnessed in the service, it was a little difficult. Marshall was injured while serving in the Army and says he deals with PTSD. As a veteran, when you go try to serve your country, when you come back, you feel like, I did this for my country. When no one helps you, you feel thrown away, a castaway. Braving the heat, Marshall's working with a team to fix up a home for him and his family. Actually, the heat is motivation because the harder we work, the quicker we get done, the quicker we'll be inside the house. The house that's going to protect us from this heat. Because everybody knows in Mobile, Alabama, you sweat by breathing. It's going to be pretty nice. I'm happy. I'm excited, and I can't wait. As she wants to renovate other neglected houses and turn them into homes. If you're interested in helping out the Marshall family or have ideas for other projects, we have contact information for you on our website, fox10tv.com. Firefighters were called out to a fire at the same location for the second day in a row. Both fires happened at a vacant single-story home on Hass Avenue. The most recent blaze happened last night. The home also caught fire Thursday morning. The cause of Thursday's fire was ruled accidental electrical by fire officials. When firefighters arrived on scene last night, smoke was coming from the rear. The fire caused an estimated $8,000 in damages. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. A fire station in Mobile scheduled to open today will remain closed. The Gus Rim Fire Station, also known as Station 15, is located on Moffat Road at the corner of Western Drive. The station was closed due to renovations. Steve Huffman with Mobile Fire Rescue says an environmental study is being conducted at the station. He also says there is no timeline on when the station will be opened. Crews and trucks assigned to the station are temporarily relocated to the fire station on Overlook Road. Police say a 49-year-old woman was struck and killed this morning in Orange Beach. The accident happened on Perdido Beach Boulevard around 1 a.m. Investigators say the woman stepped out in front of the road. That's when they say she was hit by a taxi cab driver. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Orange Beach Police Chief Billy Whitkin says the woman was from Mississippi. She was in Orange Beach visiting friends. Her name is not being released until her family is notified. Bond is now set for a dir uh, band director accused of having sex with students. Jeffrey Gaines appeared in court for a bond hearing yesterday. He was granted $350,000 bond, but with restrictions. He is not allowed to have any contact with the alleged victims. Additionally, he was ordered to stay away from minors. Gaines is scheduled to appear in court again next month. A mobile woman who turned herself in for allegedly stealing thousands of dollars from an elderly man is now out on bond. 23-year-old Jessica McQueen, there on your screen, uh, screen, was booked into Mobile Metro Jail around 1 yesterday. Authorities say she made bail about an hour later and was released. She was working as a caretaker for a 93-year-old man. Police say she used the victim's debit card to buy about $2,000 worth of prepaid Visa cards. McQueen is scheduled to be back in court on September 8th. President Obama is issuing a review of police militarization following the unrest in Ferguson. Plus, two rallies were held in Ferguson today, one for the unarmed teen that was killed and another for the officer that shot him. And an update on the indictment of Texas Governor Rick Perry. His lawyers are trying to get the case dismissed. We'll tell you these stories and more up next on Fox 10 News.